Yes. Finally got my supercharger on. Now what do I do for an air filter? Well, that's what we are about to find out. All right, if you're like me, chances are you're gonna drive your car on the street quite a bit. So after you get your forced induction on your turbo or your supercharger, you're probably gonna need an air filter on, otherwise you're gonna get all kinds of garbage in your car. And I guess it depends on how much you're driving on the street, but odds are an air filter is probably your best bet. So what kind of air filter do you use? Well, let's take a look at a couple. So I've got these two for examples. These guys are right here. Just your standard cheap air filters. And I'm gonna tell you some pros and cons about these. So let's start with this guy here. So this guy, the downfall, and I guess the problem, the thing you wanna look out for on your air filters is what's in here. So if you can see that, is that a little silver thing right in there? The problem with that, you can see it from there too. The problem with that guy is that it's glued on from the inside. So what happens when you have a supercharger or a turbo, you got more heat, right? Also more airflow. So what can happen with these, and you gotta be really careful of, is that that glue that's holding that little cap on the inside, that glue can let go. And then you end up with a piece of metal going in to your supercharger. And it will destroy your impeller and can also send metal into your engine. So what do I recommend? I'm not saying that this is the fix, but when you buy an air filter, you're gonna to wanna to check it out. So if you look at this guy, that little black piece is attached to this cap on the outside. So there's no way that that is gonna go into the supercharger. It's all one piece and it fits on the outside. If you can see that. So you wanna get an air filter that doesn't have a cap glued on the inside, especially if you're gonna run it on the street. You get a lot more heat, it's gonna build up and it can make that glue fail. Then you end up with all kinds of destructive metal pieces inside your nice expensive engine and your supercharger. And that's no bueno. So I recommend something like this. And this guy you can see, so this one, this little silver piece screws off. So that whole black piece, it's all plastic and it's all one piece, so you know it's not gonna go in there. So avoid, intakes like this. That's not what you want. You're gonna ruin your impeller on your supercharger or your turbo. Turbo is more than likely because you're gonna get a lot more airflow with the turbo and a lot more heat, especially under the hood. It also depends on where you put this, but still, you're either gonna have to put some sort of a screen or something to catch stuff just in case. I personally don't wanna put the life of my engine <laughs> I don't want to put the life of my engine in the hands of a $15 air filter. So do yourself a favor. Do some research on the air filter you buy and don't buy something that's going to destroy your hard work. That's it for today. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time.